couple quick examples where we're trying to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of some rational functions. So let's jump right in here. We have f of x. It's all factored for us. Let's remind ourselves that vertical asymptotes basically occur when the denominator equals zero. All right, so whatever values would make the denominator equals zero. Now there are some exceptions where if you have a common factor between numerator and denominator, we could get a removable discontinuity, but these are much more common looking for vertical uh, asymptotes. So this first factor we have, I guess maybe it's good to point out none of these factors coincide between numerator and denominator on this problem. So there won't be any removable discontinuities. So let's just focus on the denominators. Uh, if we plugged in a positive one into this factor, it would make it equal zero. So we get a vertical asymptote at one. Negative two would make the second factor equal zero. So we get a vertical asymptote at x equals negative two. And very similarly, positive five for the last factor. So we focus on the denominator when it would equal zero for vertical asymptotes. Next up, horizontal asymptotes. Um, these occur based on the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So I'm just gonna put degrees down here as our reminder. And we want to compare the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So the degree of the numerator in this case is gonna be two. And one way to find that is we can add together the multiplicities of each one of these factors because each one of these is x to the first power on the inside. If we were to take the time and multiply this out, this would multiply out and you get an x squared or degree two polynomial in the numerator. Um, like I said, you can add together these multiplicities for each one of these factors and that'll add up to the degree as well. All right, for our denominator, you may notice we have three factors. If we had multiplied that all out, we'd get degree three. In this comparison, our denominator is larger than the numerator. Therefore, at y equals zero, we're gonna have a horizontal asymptote. You can see a previous video if you wanna see the three different things that could happen. All right, on our next one, uh, again, we want to find vertical asymptotes, which are when the denominator equals zero, and horizontal asymptotes comparing the degrees. All right, so first of all, vertical asymptotes, I noticed we don't have any factors corresponding between numerator and denominator, so really no removable discontinuities to worry about. Instead, you just look at the denominator factor by factor. They were nice enough to give this already factored rational function. We're going to get vertical asymptotes at two for the first factor and x equals negative three for our second factor. Now comparing the degrees, we can say degree two compared to degree two. Again, adding together these multiplicities, one plus one makes degree two, one plus one makes degree two here. When they're the exact same degrees, what we wanna do is we wanna compare the ratio of leading coefficients. So we say y equals the ratio of leading coefficients. So you want to be a little bit careful in this that we may want to think about if we actually multiplied out our numerator and multiplied out our denominator, what's that leading term going to be? Well, for our numerator, we have 2x multiplied by another 2x. So kind of ignoring everything else, we're going to get 4x squared for our highest power of x. And then there is other stuff here. Um, but we care about that leading term and especially the leading coefficient, the four. For our denominator, if you were to multiply this out, um, we're gonna get a one X squared for our highest power of X and then some other stuff to go with it. But remember, we really just care about these leading coefficients in, as we set up this ratio. So right now we have a four in the numerator and you can see we have a one X squared in the denominator. So we can say Y equals four over one or y equals four is gonna be our horizontal asymptote. All right, hope this video helps out in finding vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Good luck.